It is my pleasure to be your host for this concert. Uh, es mi gusto ser su uh, anfitrión para este concierto. Figured in honor of Piazzolla. A little Spanish never hurts. Well, you know, they say, some people say that we don't have any seasons in Los Angeles, right? You've heard that? Some people say we have all four seasons in one day. But today, tonight, right here, we have eight seasons, eight seasons, four by Vivaldi, four by the Argentine composer Astor Piazzolla. And let's, let's start with Vivaldi. First thing I want to tell you about Vivaldi, he is the only composer I know of who has a potato named after him. Now, you may not have heard of the Vivaldi potato. It was introduced about 20 years ago by a supermarket chain in England. And they advertised that this uh, Vivaldi potato is so creamy you don't have to add butter. That was a big selling point. Now, you may wonder, why would you name a potato Vivaldi? And I will tell you. Brace yourself. Because this potato is grown both in the United Kingdom and abroad, here it comes, it is available all four seasons of the year. I didn't come up with that. Blame the English. Well, anyway, the four seasons. These four concertos are by far the most famous of some 500 concertos that Vivaldi wrote. And they're also very special because they are descriptive pieces, which means there are certain things that are specifically depicted in the music. And you don't have to wonder. You don't have to wonder what's being depicted. I'm going to tell you, concerto by concerto, thanks to the poems that were published with these concertos 300 years ago. Now, we suspect pretty strongly that Vivaldi himself may have written these poems, and I'll tell you why. Each Vivaldi concerto, each of the ones you're going to hear, has three movements. A fast one, a slow one, and then a fast one to finish up. And it turns out that each of those poems just seems to have, out of nowhere, a center section of poetry that's ideally suited to a slow movement of a concerto. That's why we suspect Vivaldi. So, we're going to get underway with spring, and here's what's going to happen in the course of this piece. Spring has come. What else? Birds sing, brooks flow, breezes blow, a little touch of thunder and lightning, but nothing serious. Nothing like this morning in L.A. The second movement, out in the meadow, a goat herd sleeps with his faithful dog at his side. The dog is played by the viola. If you've never heard this before, you'll see how amazingly a viola is able to go woof, woof. And then finally, the third movement, it's a dance party. Nymphs and shepherds, glittering arrival of spring, they dance to a bagpipe. And that's what you're going to hear in the spring concerto. And to bring it to you, such a great honor to introduce Maestra Sofia Marie de Leon de Vega and La Sinfonica. Thank you. 
Did you hear the dog? <laughs> woof, woof, absolutely. I'd like also to mention that all of the soloists this evening are members of the orchestra. That's a very special aspect of this performance, along with the fact that the orchestra is very new. This is its second performance. You are in on the ground floor of Great Music Making by La Sinfonica. Okay, so we've had spring, now we get to summer. And if ever music was written to let you know that it's hot, you're gonna hear music that is hot. Uh, according to the poem, there's a burning sun, there is a wilted herd, there is a parched pine, there are birds. You'll probably recognize the cuckoo. Uh, there's also a dove and a goldfinch, and there's also a hint of a possible change in the weather. The slow middle movement. We're out in the meadow, and there is a, uh, oh no, sorry, we're not out in the meadow. The slow movement of summer, yes, we are out in the meadow, yes. We are worried about a change in the weather. That's what's going on. We're worried about the change in the weather. And in the final movement, that is where we get the storm. And it is a big storm. There's thunder, there's lightning, there are hailstones. So, wow, this is an amazing journey through summer.
So now you know what a hailstorm sounded like in 18th century Venice. Okay, time for autumn. Autumn means the harvest, and in fact, in the opening movement of this concerto, the peasants celebrate an abundant harvest. They sing, they dance, they drink wine. Uh, they drink probably too much wine. The way the poem puts it, the cup flows freely. The slow second movement, they sleep it off. The third concluding movement, hunters go hunting, and I've always sincerely hoped that the same people go hunting are not the same people who are hungover from the night before. Autumn from the Four Seasons.
And so we get to winter. And what's winter? But it's cold. Yeah. So we start with cold and the wind is blowing. Oh my golly. And in this first movement, listen, because Vivaldi does an imitation of chattering teeth. Second movement. We need something uh, contrasting for that slow second movement. We're sitting inside for a change and we're warming ourselves by the fire. The final movement. As you listen to this, you may very well be able to picture someone who's walking very carefully to avoid slipping on the ice. And you know what happens? They slip anyway and they fall down. That's just the way it goes. And there's wind. There's lots of wind. Winter from the Four Seasons.
our brilliant soloists, Sonia Marie de Leon de Vega and La Sinfonica.